Well, there are other carbonates that occur naturally, and one of these can be found in burnt wood ash. And I have some wood ash here at the base of the fire. So this is just ash that's been thoroughly burnt. And the wood itself, the, the plant matter, contains potassium. And as it burns, it combines with the carbon that's in the, in the wood and some oxygen here forms potassium carbonate. So this wood ash used to be called pot ash. Okay. It was called pot ash from the pots that they used to extract this. In fact, if we have a look at the, the next slide here, we see some pots that they are putting the ash into and extracting the pot ash from this. And the pot ash is actually just potassium carbonate. Right. I'm going to light my candle. Right, my candle's burning nicely. The ash here contains potash or potassium carbonate. Adding acid, and the acid that I'm using is just vinegar, adding acid to the carbonate generates carbon dioxide gas. So we can see the bubbles here. And the carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air. And it's gradually filling up the beaker and it's now extinguished the candle. So that was the carbon dioxide formed from the reaction between the potassium carbonate and the acid. Well, actually, I've said that uh, potash gets its name from these pots that they used to put the ash into, potash. In fact, this also gives rise to the name potassium. So the pot in potassium comes from these pots here.